All right. It looks like we're live. Love it. Yay. <laughs> so exciting. Like something. Yeah. The first one. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. All right. I'm I have like my other screen over here, so I'm trying to see if I can see. All right. Okay, guys. So excited for our first show. Thank you everyone who's coming in on the chat. Well, let's do some introductions as people start to roll in. Uh, so Mary, why don't you go first? Hi, <laughs> I'm Mary. Uh, my channel is Jolly Holiday with Mary, which is perfect for this movie that we have selected. Um, I do Disney hauls, pin everything, and some unboxings and things, and week vlogs. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm Pauline. Uh, I am the mermaid in Mouse and Mermaid. My mouse is like down the hall. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we do uh, Disney videos when we go to Disney World. Uh, we also do pin videos talk about Disney and we also vlog our life every week. And then we're so excited to have our special guests here, Brandon and Heidi. Well, thank you for having us. We're so excited to be here. This is like so funny. The first one we were so honored. Yes. <laughs> you so so thank you for having us. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your channel. So I'm Brandon and I'm Heidi <laughs> and we are from Canada. Uh, we do lots of uh, pin videos every Monday. We do like a pin mill Monday and then usually like a fun or different video Friday, whether it's like an unboxing or a haul mm -hmm. um, or sometimes like a vlog. We like have done some vlogs recently. We yeah. can't get to Disney as often um, because there's a border right now it's closed. So we're trying to make do and do pins and unboxings and that kind of stuff. But you brought the magic with that birthday scavenger hunt recently. <laughs> Holy cow. See, now every year I have to up it. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. You need the whole year to plan. I mean, you have to plan the whole year. All right. So we're going to start off um, with talking about our movie. So <laughs> basically, this the start of this went a little bit differently than normally will every other week. So we... We posted the two movies on Instagram and you guys voted. We were voting between My Choice Little Mermaid and Mary's Choice, Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary Poppins won. I was totally shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Mary In a good way. <laughs> I'm still a little salty about it. <laughs> yeah, Pauline sent me some like gifts after that she was salty. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. Mary was going to kill me because I kept messaging her like, what are your numbers? What are That's your numbers? <laughs> like, I don't have many followers. It's gone up by like one. <laughs> <laughs> guys. Oh, hi, Siskateers. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm a salty <laughs> A salty mermaid. <laughs> So we all watched Mary Poppins. We hope you guys in the chat did too, because we're going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm so this is, these are my notes from the movie. Oh, yeah. this is, so I have to say, when you guys like brought up a thing about journals, I was excited because I bought this journal and didn't know what I was going to use it for. So then I had a perfect use. <laughs> so well, mine's from Onward. I have to buy this. Oh. Like, so kind of looks like that book that like Barley plays the games in, and it even comes with a little pen of the little staff. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited. Oh. To use it. Yeah, I have this one. It kind of looks like Rapunzel. I got it for like my scrunchy stuff, and I decided to use it. But my notes aren't very pretty inside. Oh, mine I'm aren't not, either. I'm very much like a scribble here, scribble there. No. <laughs> yeah, you went all out, Pauline. Mine don't look that nice either. I've got like two stickers. <laughs> But I did put our logo on the front. I got these stickers that. made. Yeah, that's nice. I have a sticker problem, I think. <laughs> it's growing. Stickers are fun. They really are. <laughs> Everyone's loving your journal. 
Well, thank you. It was on <laughs> sale. So if your Disney store has mm -hmm. Onward stuff, like mm -hmm. the Onward stuff is on like sale. So yep. if you love Onward, get out there and get some Onward stuff. Yeah. Awesome. So I guess let's start with our, our first kind of area uh, is the story. So Mary, do you want to start? I will. <laughs> I've been preparing for this my whole life. This <laughs> dissertation on Mary Poppins. <laughs> so like the thing that I think I love most about Mary Poppins is how you can kind of grow with it. Like as a kid, you watch it and you're just like in awe of all the amazing things Mary Poppins can do. I wished so hard that I could just snap my fingers and clean my bedroom when I was little. That was like, God, why can't I do that? That was just the best. And then as an adult, you start to understand like where George is coming from and you get a whole other perspective on the movie. Like adulting is freaking hard. And like, it's just such a unique movie that it just, yeah. Yeah, that's why I love it so much anyway. It's just like, it covers all of the bases, I think, without CGI and without like, I don't know, fancy stuff. I love the practical elements. Uh, that's, yeah. Yeah, what do you guys, uh, Brandon, Heidi, what do you guys think? Well, like, I think like the first thing that we said, like, I like couldn't even tell you the last time that I watched this movie because I think as a kid I was into like Toy Story and like Lion King and those kind of things so I feel like I never really like appreciated it. Heidi watched it yeah, often. Yeah I watched it like it was one of those like my go-to's on the VHS when I was younger. I remember watching it like ever since I was little. So <laughs> I always watched it but I hadn't watched it recently so I remember kind of like the storyline but I didn't remember the purpose of the actual movie until I rewatched it. We watched it today actually. Yeah this morning and I think like the story is super like relevant like to times mm -hmm. now. I think even like in our life like we know lots of people that like focus on like work, work, yeah. work, or school, 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 and that's it. But like, there's other things that you have to care about and worry yeah. about. And I think those like often get kind of lost in the shuffle. And I think this movie shows you like, you have to be able to kind of let go and like do some different things, not just like focus on like work and school yeah. and like adulting. It's okay to have fun. And yeah, I think we all do that like with our channels and stuff. So like, it's like, it's a cool outlet, but I think right. a lot of people don't kind of get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, sure. I agree too. I think it was very relevant, especially for the whole, like, we've been in quarantine. Um, I don't know, you kind of have that, like, crisis, and then you go back to, like, the foundational elements of life, of family is important, relationships are important. That's kind of what happened in the movie. I thought that was very relevant. So it was a perfect movie for right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's I true. agree. I totally agree. And I think it also captures like a lot of the cool, like like obviously all of like the Disney elements of like the whimsical stuff and the magic and just like a fun thing. And like, I mean, I would love to have like Mary Poppins yeah. float out here, like even just now. I don't even care if I was a kid or now. It would just be so cool. And like just everything from like the medicine tasting like something good that you like to like yeah, like the snap of the finger. It's just a really good movie that I think like I get why people love it so much, Mary. So I totally get it now. <laughs> why you love it. Yeah, I agree too. I, I get why you love it, Mary, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more with Heidi. Like we just watched it so much growing up that it's like, it's just ingrained in my brain that I like, it's amazing. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Brandon, you said something too about like the Disney magic in it and mm -hmm. I think there's obviously the literal magic that's happening but I also kept like correlating and it might be because of that like Saving Mr. Banks movie but I kept correlating like Walt's life in the movie and how mm -hmm. kind of like I think the foundation of like the, the legacy that he left is the importance of like family and the like, two themes that I saw like come up were like wealth and like wealth in life versus like money wealth. Um, and then also like in business world, also success in life. Um, and I think that that was sort of like Walt's legacy of like, having that balance and having the wealth, obviously he had financial wealth, but more importantly, I think he had the wealth of family, so. Yeah, like, 
I like immediately because I don't even know like when I watched like Saving Mr. Banks maybe a year ago like and I think I totally forgot about that like and then watching this I was like I like remember all these elements of like even like the people playing the music and how like just everything about it comes together like and I think like you said like I didn't even like I think about that but like the wealth of life and like like all that stuff is really cool take on it I love that yeah for sure so um, I just want to address a couple like question like slash things in the chat. So um, actually, my mother in law asked if we, uh, any of us have seen the new Mary Poppins and if we liked it as much as the original. <laughs> Mary, do you want to go first? <laughs> I have, and I do not. <laughs> but that's a discussion for another time. <laughs> I actually. Fan appreciated it a little bit more after watching the movie like i almost feel like they kind of copied the structure of the movie you know in the, in a way so yeah, exactly <laughs> they did but not as well yeah <laughs> in my opinion yeah i've never seen it i've watched it and i think i like like just like recently had this kind of like thought and you can like tell me if i'm wrong but so i love like the gd he's my favorite character of all time and like robin williams just absolutely killed it and then when the new aladdin came out and it's will smith it's like oh like the genie's my favorite like is it gonna be as good so how i had to look at it and i think that he did like like a great job for will smith but like he's never gonna replace like robin williams but he did the best like job that he could and I think that like Emily Blunt did a good job for being Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins, but I think like you just can't replace like Julie Andrews as because like she is Mary Poppins. So I think that's where right. people struggle with it, and I can totally see why. And I think it is like a lot of the same sort of structure for sure. You can see that like after yeah. reading this, they definitely follow the exact same like plot yeah. points, but. Yeah, I just think Mary Poppins from 1964 does it better. And I had to do some research because Emily Blunt's accent drove me crazy. It was like unnecessarily distracting. Yes. <laughs> what were you doing? But I, I like watched some videos and interviews and people asked her about it like in a nice way, not in the way I would ask her about it. But um, she like, she said I wanted it to be like the, I think it's transatlantic accent that they used to teach like in school like in the old movies when they talk they sound a little bit english but it's just like the accent that they taught people back then because it was supposed to be like the best accent or something so she was trying to go for like something like that i don't know i liked it more once i did some research and figured out what the heck was going on but i still think they just did it better in the first one yeah for sure well and i think the other problem is you're remaking a live action with a live action. So that's even harder, I think. It's not it's not something as new, but no, yeah. I, like and yeah, like even everything down to like Bert was like replaced by like I forget his name, but like <laughs> Jack. Uh, yeah, Jack or Jack like, like, like the exact same story, just yeah. I can see that. Yeah. And I do agree that the old one's better for sure. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the stars. Mary, you want to start with us? I love Dick Van Dyke. Can I just put that out there real quick? Because he might be my favorite human on the planet. <laughs> but um, another thing that is really amazing about this movie is that it's like the only Disney movie I can think of that doesn't actually have like an antagonist, like an actual character who is the bad guy. The bad guy is George having to overcome being an adult and balancing life, basically. And I think that is so good. Like, you just never see that. Like, that's one thing I didn't care for in the new Mary Poppins is, like, they made some weird wolf guy and then made him seem like the bank guy. And, like, why do you have to have, like, a bad guy? Mm -hmm. Losing your house and being in debt is a big enough issue, you know? I don't know. So I really appreciated that. Um, yeah. It's just, they have such good characters. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Van Dyke and Julie Andrews is like the best thing, the best combination of all time. <laughs> it's true. Brennan and Heidi, what do you guys want to add? 
Well, I think that's like a dynamic duo that could go up against anybody. Like that's a really good duo. Yeah. You really love the kids a lot. Yeah, I do. There's just something about like back in the day, like child actors, like they're just so cute and like authentic. Like yeah. I just think it's the best. <laughs> And I have to say, like, yeah. I never knew how much, like, same thing that I love, Dick Van Dyke. Like, Bert, I think, is my favorite character in the movie. Just because he's so, like, goofy and fun. But then also, like, like when he has, like, the moment with, like, George, like, towards the end. Like, I love that. Like, it's, like he's, like, a goofy guy. But then he's having, mm -hmm. like, like, a serious -er conversation. Like, which is really cool. Like, I like that element, how he has, like, a lot of layers to him. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like, Julie Andrews is just the best. And I also love... Like, I didn't know the whole movie if it was Ellen or Helen. I thought she's, like, hilarious. I think she's funny. Oh, yeah, Ellen. She's yeah, wonderful. I, I think she's great, too. I think uh, one of my favorite characters, and Mary kind of, like, alluded to this earlier, I think watching it as an adult, I think George Banks is awesome. And I think he's so underrated. And, I don't know, he's the heart, like, Mary is the heart of the story, but he's also the heart of the story, in my opinion. Um, I think he's great, though, in it. Yeah. Yeah. He, like, reminds me of, like, the dad from Peter Pan. Is that, like, a weird comparison? Yeah. yeah. No, I totally agree. Like, he's kind of, like, the same where it's, like, it's got to be proper and, like, whatever, but then he kind of, like, loosens up as it goes. Right. Like, I'm, like, like, the whole time, like, I was thinking, like, this is, like, he's the dad from Peter Pan, but, like... <laughs> Obviously, more like layers and depth to him, but like it's a cool compare. Like I don't know, I just thought about that, and I wasn't sure if it was totally <laughs> off or on an okay no, yeah. track. I feel you, and they're both named George, so yeah. <laughs> I I gotta ask you guys because this kind of bothers me with some of the older Disney movies, but they reuse the same like actors and voice actors. So um, it's the Uncle Elver is the Mad Hatter and I just like could not deal with it, but they like did a little like nod to it. And later on in the movie, they said, um, one of the bankers said, you're mad as a March hare. And then he like started laughing and went up in the air. Oh, that's awesome. I did not make that connection. No. Yeah. That's brilliant. I, I like right away, like I like yeah, you said heard that. his voice and I was like, wait, that's like the Mad Hatter. But then I'm like, I wasn't sure because I'm not like a like yeah, like super knowledgeable, but that like is so like now it all makes sense. But I love <laughs> yeah. that reference. I never picked up on that. That's so cool. <laughs> that's such a sixties thing to do. Like all the sixties yeah. TV shows did that too. Dick Van Dyke and like Bewitched. They all just used the same people over and over again. <laughs> It's great. Well, now I feel like they're very strategic and not doing that. Like they'll go out of their way to make sure they don't do that. It's true. Right. Um, another like random thought I had too is like, when did they change the credits to be only at the end? I wonder that too. I have no idea. So, no, yeah, I anyone know. knows, put it in the comments. But I like it. <laughs> Brittany, yes, Bert got a lot, or Dick Van Dyke got a lot of slack for his awful Cockney accent. Yes. It's like iconically bad, but I love it so much. <laughs> That's a good one. Awesome. Well, guys, keep asking questions and like posting your thoughts in the chat. There's some good dialogue going on. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Let's talk about the score. So Brandon and Heidi, you want to go first? There's like a lot to unpack. I have to look at my notes because I honestly like didn't even know that there was that many songs. Like, like watching the movie back, like I like remembered them, but I totally like right away. I think I thought of like Spoonful of Sugar and yeah. Supercalifragilistic right away. Those are the only two that like I think of, but then there's like so many that I love, like Let's Go Fly a Kite makes me, like, emotional. That one's so good. And then, like, the Jolly Holiday one, I love. So, Mary, I get it. I love it. And then, like, the Tuppence one, I love, too. <laughs> You've been singing it. Yeah, because <laughs> soft and nice and I don't know. So, those were, like, ones that, like, I, like, after watching it again, I'm, like, I like those songs a lot. I'm the same. You, you're the same. It's, like, <laughs> but I don't know, like, it's like crazy to me how like there's like icon like a lot of these are just iconic though like everybody knows of at least like 
like I said, for sure those two, like you would know as like a casual Disney fan. So it's cool that it's like Mary Poppins has those like iconic songs like that. For sure. Yeah, the Sherman brothers were just unreal. They're so good. And yeah. I'm so glad they made that um, Saving Mr. Banks movie. That just made mm -hmm. it so much better even. I agree. Mm -hmm. And then I saw some people talking about like the prop culture thing. I haven't watched that, but I've heard of that show. Um, but I've never seen it. But I would love to watch now going back to see like what's happening with that and stuff and how they did stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't seen that either. Is that like on where where do you watch that? Like it's on uh Disney Plus and they did stuff. I think they did one with like Mary Poppins and like Nightmare oh, Before yeah. Christmas and what else did they do? Like Roger Rabbit, maybe some things like that where it's like they go back and there's a guy that goes around to like look at props and stuff and how they did things in the movies. Like there might be people in the chat who know more than I do because I've never watched it, but I do know there's a Mary Poppins episode. So Mary, you might want to watch it. Yep, that's going on my list right now. <laughs> So Mary, what are your thoughts on the music, the score? Holy cow, it's just so freaking good. I love the overture. Like when the movie just first starts, you're just like all in. They're like, bam, this is gonna be awesome. Listen to this music. And like, oh man, I don't it's just it's just so good. I love the underrated songs too, like Stay Awake. Mm -hmm. Reverse psychology, using it on kids. I love it. <laughs> so brilliant. And then, like Brandon said earlier, with the uh, the song that Dick Van Dyke sings when he's talking to George, so good. One, uh, what is that one called? Uh, a man has dreams. Gets me every time. Chokes me up. I just love it so much. And sometimes guys just need another guy to be like, "Hey, bro, this is what's going on," and then they get it. <laughs> so that one just seems really appropriate. And then the harmonies in Chim Chim Tree. There, there are just no words. It's so good. Big Van Dyke and Julie Andrews, man. They're amazing. Incredible. <laughs> so for me, like what stand out about the score was not just the music alone, but like the dancing that went with it. Um, I love like White Christmas and yeah. anything yeah. like old time, like they're dancing and singing and I just love that they had that those two together. So like when they did um, the um, step in time dance, like I was all about that. It's so good. Like the whole time it's like, like I think it's like an old school Broadway. Like, like, like that's like what it seems like to me where it's like you could go watch that. Like, and I know that they had it for a bit, didn't they on Broadway? They have a, it's a, a version of Mary Poppins. It adds a little bit more from the books. It's okay. so good though. The yeah. music in that is awesome too. I feel like you could see how that one just gets like rate right, like over to like it's like perfect for it like, really is Broadway. It's so good. Yeah, I mean it's just right in Dick Van Dyke's like element with yeah. dancing and entertainment and everything. It's yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, it's very cool on Broadway too. He like walks up the side of the thing and so it's just if you can go see it, you really should. <laughs> That's our list. Ooh, they need to put that on Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Who do I write oh, to to get Mary cool. Poppins the musical on Disney Plus? Yes, yes, yes. That'd be amazing. Um, I also feel like I couldn't agree more. There are so many songs. I watched the movie last night and then I fell asleep to go to sleep <laughs> or like stay awake. <laughs> um, it's a good one. It'll get you. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, let's talk. The next uh, talking point is the scenery. So let's talk about that. Mary, uh, Mary you want to go first? Yeah. Um, just again, the practical elements are so good. Um, I don't know. I just, I love the house. I was kind of disappointed in the new house that they did. It's not exactly the same. And I'm like, how does that work? <laughs> it's supposed to be the same house. I don't know. Um, and I recently watched, there's a YouTube channel called, um, I can't remember what it's called, but they were talking about like how they did the Jolly Holiday scene when the penguins came out and stuff because they didn't have CGI back then. So there was like a very special crystal that just filtered out like yellow light or something so that like the, um, the hat that she wore had like lace in it, which would be a problem with like a green screen. 
and whatever a magical thing that they did made it look totally flawless so like the backdrop was just white like the the painting isn't there and obviously the penguins aren't there and it's just like there's so many fun things to learn about that movie like they're geniuses they were doing this in like 1964 <laughs> how the heck it's true I'm just such a geek that that stuff is like, holy cow, you guys are amazing. And love to laugh. Like they have people on the ceiling. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cool. Well, like I know that we're going to talk about it like potentially later, but like the parks, but like I would love to be able to walk down like the cherry tree. Like it just is so beautiful. And like, I know like what you love the most was like, like the roofs and like the chimney. Yeah, scene. there's just you, like, something about that. that. And then like them dancing up there and they're like flying out of like all like the chimneys. Yeah. Like I love that so much. That was cool. And then I just love, like you said, like the animated thing is like insane. Like how they did that stuff is like so cool. And just like, I found like they acted like so well, like even like the part where they're on like, like at the horses and he picks up like the little, like the fox guy and puts them yeah. on. It's not even like real but it was like so like perfect it was just so good and then i loved like this could be like we had this like opinion but like the bird lady has anyone <laughs> seen home alone too yeah same bird <laughs> lady yeah, the same from girl. the same lady where she's like standing there and has all the birds come on her mary's like no but that <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't think i've seen home alone too so there's like a I lady <laughs> yes, yeah, so you have to look it up. It's yeah. like the same. She feeds the birds and they all, it's like a. Yeah. They all, yeah. so, okay. I also like, I also like the house whenever like the guy like shoots oh, the, yes. the thing and everything like flies and they're all like, <laughs> that is the best. Yeah. And, they're the door, and they're like cleaning the window. So good. Just everything about it's like so like random but perfect. Yeah, it's just, which cool. I love yeah, it's corny it. but like the best. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> Yeah, I love the when they're cleaning up the room scene. I I just like want to know every little like way they did all the magic they did. Like even just like folding the blankets. Like I don't know how they did it. <laughs> it has to be going backwards, right? Like they folded it and then pulled it apart and then just played yeah. it in reverse so it would like Is it just like stop motion maybe? I'm thinking that's what it is. I think some of it like the um when the blocks like go up the yeah. stairs, that has to be stop motion, I think. Yeah. It's and, amazing. Um, like the like the things like where it's like her coming down like on the umbrella, great. Like yeah. her bag is amazing. I think we all oh, need yeah. a bag like that where yeah. you can just anything you ever need yeah. and just carry it perfect. Like that like and I love how like the scenery adds to like the whimsy of being like a kid. And I yeah. think they see things that are so like cool, like and different, where he's like crawling under the table trying to see like is this bag like you know what I mean? Like the whole just everything about it adds to yeah. like message and like the message and the scenery yeah yeah it's just <laughs> great it's so true no i know i love when the women all fly away like today you would just cgi that stuff and then back in the day they were like nope we're making this happen for real and yeah. they did that that's another funny. good part when, that's a um, good part when ellen like has to go and tell them all to leave and she says it like that. <laughs> and i also love when she comes with like like the ripped up like uh, like yeah. the kids made oh, yeah, that was cool. so good and mary poppins i have to say she's a couple times where she like cons george banks like twice with that yeah. part and oh, then yeah. when it's the bank she is like she just Honest. cons them into it i love it she's so smart i love it too that part with the letter you guys if you go watch it again you have to pay attention she's like holding it and talking to mr banks and then there's a cut scene and she's wearing different gloves to hold the letter. Like she has white gloves on when they're like farther back. And then she has a black glove on when they do a cut scene to show you the like mm. things. Interesting, see? Mm. Easter oh, egg or, or something. I think we didn't know, we're getting educated. <laughs> I've seen it too many times, I think. <laughs> Walt Life Salt Life mentioned about the uh, firework effects that, that the neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. They like stuff in the middle. That was funny. Mm -hmm. I love that guy. What an underrated character, that neighbor. Yeah, it kind of freaks me out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> that I really like, and I feel like people don't like her, is like the mom. I think that she's like so funny because yeah. she's like, it's so funny because like she's all about like women empowerment, but then like she does everything like George like tells you. <laughs> yeah. So I do right. 
hilarious and she's like a ditz, but then yeah, she's like so involved. Like it's just so funny. <laughs> That's true. It's a fun dynamic. Let the kids be kids. Yeah. Like she knows the like the message, which mm-hmm. is fun. Right. <laughs> oh, Winifred. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just want to mention I've seen a couple of you talk about um like the Mary Poppins stuff coming to Epcot. So we're going to do the ratings first and then we'll talk about bringing Mary Poppins to the resort slash what's already there. If it's good enough, we'll see. (laughs) So uh, just so everyone knows, we have uh, five different rating categories. (laughs) So the first, like the top cream of the cup called Walt Tastic. Uh, and these are films that we would be proud of. Then we have the Golden Mickey. These are tried and true Disney classics. Then there's the Background Magic, which is the perfect film for a rainy day. And we have a One Hit Wonder. It's just worth watching once. And Finally, keep it in the vault. You could have lived without seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a good hunch of maybe what everyone picked, but Mary, you want to go first? Waltastic. <laughs> what about you, Brandon and Heidi? Oh yeah, for sure, Waltastic. I feel like this would be like one of the, like if not the most one that he'd be proud of, I feel. Like this one is, yeah, Waltastic yeah. to a T. Yep. For sure. I also selected Waltastic. And I think for me mostly, because it just, I think it's so relevant to who Walt is like, yeah. and what his legacy is. So I think that what does everyone else for. think about what, what rating should I get? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, all right. Well, now is the, I think my favorite part is talking about the resorts. <laughs> uh, so uh, Brandon and Heidi, you want to go first with maybe some of your thoughts? Well, so, like, I've never, ever met Mary Poppins. Now it's a for sure have to do because it would just be so fun. But like I said, I know that they, like, announced like, that they're doing it and they had plans to do it. But then, like, I thought that they, like, like stopped because it wasn't, like, already started. Like, is that true or is that, like, like false? Because I know, like, I read something where it said, like, anything at Epcot that was already started, which was, like, Ratatouille and the Guardians roller coaster. Like we're getting pushed forward, but then they like we're halting things. So if that's true, that's like a sad thing. But if it's not true, then it's a good thing. But I think like regardless of when it is, like it's gonna get made in a to. Like Cherry Tree Lane at Epcot would be perfect. It like fits perfectly with like the UK and it's like the perfect Disney movie to like put into Epcot. For sure. Yeah, I agree. I think it's based on the newer one. Yes. But yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I think it'd be you know I would want them to sort of integrate some of the older elements too because um I think like Bert is so strong like obviously but I think like how he is in the movie could really work well into the parks so he's like kind of a jack of all trades like he could sort of be like a, a strolling actor, if you will. And like one day doing like chalk art and like another day, like, I don't know, like doing like a, a show for everyone. It would be so cool. I agree. That would be cool. We don't see Bert very often. Like I know he comes out with Mary Poppins sometimes, but I've never met him. Yeah. Cause I think like, can't you meet them both at like the Christmas or Halloween party? Like, or something like that. Is that like a thing? I probably. I'm not I, sure. Because I know, like, well, well we, we went, went, but I don't think we that we met them. Maybe well, they no, were we available. Did, we didn't, we meet, didn't them, meet them. I don't, I don't know. But now it would, like, be a for sure, because I would just love to meet them. Yeah. But yeah. I think it was, I think it's, like you kind of said, Pauline, that it's, like, super relevant now. And I think not a lot of kids have seen either, the like, the original or the new one. But I think it's a movie that kids can, like, super relate to, but so can adults. So I think that makes it really cool, where it's, like, like adults will know Mary Poppins and kids might not, but then the adults can like have their kids fall in love with Mary Poppins, like which I think would be really, really cool. Mm, yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. I have no idea what they're doing with that part in Epcot. I I, I heard that it was postponed though. Or yeah, I think it's like on the back burner for now. Yeah, they probably need to make some money first before they start that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 
I don't know. I think she's pretty well yeah. like represented in a subtle way yep. right now. Like they definitely play her music on main street. I've heard it lots of times back um, by the Christmas shop in magic kingdom, which is, I guess where you can meet her too. in that little gazebo thing. Um, and then on like the carousel, but she definitely needs to be a little bit more in Epcot and you can meet her there too, but yeah, that would be awesome if they did finish that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like it would be so, yeah, just like aesthetically pleasing. Like, oh, yeah. you know, like the house with like the guy setting off like fireworks or bombs and like everything could shake or something on an hour. I don't know. That, <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they would bring the Jolly Holiday Bakery to Walt Disney World. I know they have that in Disneyland, oh. and I like freaked out when I saw it because I didn't know that they were like into Mary Poppins over there. But she has a whole bakery, so I know nothing of this. That yes. was just I like, yeah, kind of thought, and then I confirmed before this because I didn't want to come on here and be like, because I knew Mary's a pro. So I, yeah, it is. <laughs> I have that at Disney World. It'd be so. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. I wonder what they serve there. Like, what are like some Mary Poppins treats that they could have? I don't know. Medicine tarts. Medicine tarts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel what like they candy have... covered spoons. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. What did they have when they were having tea in the Jolly Holiday? Raspberry ice and cakes and tea. Yeah. So just make yeah. that stuff. Amazing. <laughs> Maybe have rum punch or whatever she has. Yeah. yeah. I love it. All right, guys. Well, does anyone ha else have any last minute thoughts on the movie or anything they'd like to add in the comments as well? Ooh, I like Brittany's idea of making the carousel in Magic Kingdom, the Mary Poppins carousel. That would be sweet. Yeah. Does anyone care about Prince Charming? So, I always thought that was like random. Mm. How, uh, that's like kind of random. Also right, it made sense in Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, like Magic in Michigan wants to know, and this is like a question for Heidi because I asked Heidi this because every time that we watch a movie now, <laughs> Heidi wants to start a pin collection of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, just a Mary well, collection. I don't know. I, I wanted to start one before actually. Remember? Yeah. I wanted to <laughs> And, you did. and then I didn't. I don't know why. So maybe if there's a really nice one and that I really few. like, I'll yeah. get a few. But I'll have to see what's out there. Yeah, it's a common theme over here. We watch yeah. a movie and then it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't have that many, so it wouldn't be that expensive. No, there you that's go. true. I also think like doing this whole thing, which was cool, and I'm glad that it was like a movie that I hadn't seen in a while because I feel like when you go back and you like revisit mm -hmm. movies, you have like a new appreciation. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I feel like. Like, let's be real, like, there's very few bad, like, Disney movies. So it's, like, it's really cool mm -hmm. to go back and see, like, these ones that are so, like, important and mm -hmm. iconic. So I'm glad it was this one because it's, like, like one that I never would have thought to watch. But having to watch it was really, really great. Yeah. So I think the whole message is relevant and kids should watch it. And, yeah, it's yeah. just a great one. Yeah, that's one thing I'm super excited about with this series because... Just yeah. like we were making this big long list of Disney movies, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch like most of these movies." Yes, it's been so yeah. long, and we don't know what ones are going to be keeping in the vault. I mean, we, we talked, and we were like, "Maybe there's one," but yeah, I have a couple. Um, in my head. <laughs> I have a couple in my head, <laughs> but not very many. Yeah. No. Um, well, you mentioned pins, so I think, Mary, you have a, a trivia question, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I do. So I actually have a few, but I'll let, let's just do the one. We'll see who gets it. So in the comments, um, you can put your answer or the chat or whatever you call it. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> All right. So, name at least four things Mary Poppins takes out of her carpet bag when settling into the nursery. And the prize will be... Do you want to see the prize now? Should I wait till we have a winner? Ooh, that's fun. 
It's not very much, but I thought it'd be fun to have a little trivia question that, that you actually get like a little prize for. That's so fun. Uh, so, say it over at Magic in Michigan. <laughs> Tell everyone I'm a trivia pro when I'm about the worst trivia person ever. <laughs> um, yeah. You did so good in your scavenger hunt, though. You got all yeah. of those. But I will say every time. I'm usually, that, I'm like, not good. Yeah, because if you buy pins from this one person, he always puts like a movie quote, and, and we, we get it wrong. never know it. <laughs> oh, I love that part in your videos. I'm always like, <gasps> and then gonna be. And then we get roasted by some like random person in the comments who's like, "How did you not know that it was this?" Like, <laughs> Sorry. We've never seen that in a long time. We look, I well, think, what life salt what life. Salt life oh, good job. Um, one, two, do you need five? One of those is not correct. Ooh. <laughs> you just need one more, Brittany. <laughs> so, Brittany, come on. Brittany's like, which one's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I think the hat is wrong. Oh. Hat is wrong. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because it's wrong. Oh, it's this. J Cat is wrong. Thanks for being here, by the way, Jake. That's a good friend of mine from like 13 years ago. We're 13 years old. Ah, That's amazing. Good job. Jake got it. A Yay. hand mirror. There are like eight things. No, sorry, Brittany, not a hat. She was already wearing the hat. Yeah, she was already wearing a hat. Hmm, see, I would have never known. She had a hand mirror, a wall mirror, a jacket, the tape measure to measure how they measure up or something, whatever she said. Shoes, lamp, plant, and hat stand. Interesting. Good job. Yay. All right, so our last thing we're gonna um, show who's gonna be next on our show. <sighs> so let me give me just one second here. Yay! So Andrew and Jessica are gonna be next on our show from Magic in Michigan. And that's gonna be over on Mary's channel. Um, and then we also have a couple other upcoming shows. So we have Matt with Teacup for One. That's going to be on my channel on the 15th. Um, and then Cameron with Day Tripping Disney is going to be on September 22nd. <laughs> awesome. Those are some awesome people. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Okay. So the, the moment of truth is here. You're going to... Um, pick the fate for Andrew and Jessica. It's okay. We'll be nice, guys. Don't worry. Zootopia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so, challenging. These are the movies you get to pick from. <laughs> okay, you can kind of see some of them, but I kind of okay. want to pick one that you can't see. Yeah. That'd be fun. You know what? So, okay. Yeah, you can kind of tell on some of them. Like a favorite number in here? Because I, I don't know. Well, my favorite number is number one, but I, I don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> I was thinking number seven. They're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do seven. We'll do number seven? Yeah, let's do seven. Okay, we're going to do number seven. Ooh. Awesome. So number seven is Monsters University. Nice. Fun. <laughs> it's like Zootopia adjacent. No. <laughs> Pauline, I told you, they said, please not Zootopia. See? <laughs> So it was on here. It was number nine. Oh, oh nice. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to come back in and we'll pick number yeah. nine. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, man, that's too funny. University. That's a good one. I haven't seen that one in a while. Yeah, that is a good one. I, I have like never that. seen that movie, so I'm excited. That's how you have like, the parent trap and like Liz right. McGuire. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's in there. There, I... We have an Excel spreadsheet with every single possible movie option. We could be doing this for like 20 years, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. There are so many. <laughs> so Brandon and Heidi, tell us what is um, coming up on your channel? So this week on Friday, we are posting a Disney store haul because for the first time, so we don't live close to like a Disney store. The closest one is like four hours away. 
So we went down to Heidi's house for her birthday and we stopped at five Disney stores and looked for some stuff. We didn't get as much like stuff no, as it makes not, it sound. Yeah, I didn't get that much. But we got some like, We're doing some like cool a mini stuff, hall, yeah. a mini hall. And then Pin Mail Monday next week, like every Monday. And then Heidi next Friday is opening her Ultimate Magic birthday bippity box. Yes, I'm very excited. I've never gotten Ultimate Magic. Ooh. That's kind of what we got going on right now. Yes. That is super exciting. And Ooh. just so everyone knows, if you uh, don't follow them already, their link is in the description. So you can head over and subscribe and see all of their awesome videos. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. So Mary, what's going on your channel this upcoming week? I'm not prepared at all. I have so many that I need to edit. I have like a pin mail, a Disney haul, and another week vlog. I'm so behind on my week vlogs right now. <laughs> It takes forever to edit them. Oh, sheesh. So, yeah, just a slew of things need to come out. <laughs> yeah, and I have my, so I opened up some, uh, I had an unsuccessful unboxing. Uh, so I did some trading with, with the pin. So I have a, a pin mail video. And I also, I don't know what, but like August was very lucky for me. So also in that video, I won three different contests. Wow. Uh, so, wow. <laughs> uh, so I got to uh, unbox those. That's, That's fun. fun. Yeah. And, and everyone, Mary's link is below too. So go subscribe and follow her, especially because our next video, our next live is going to be over on her channel. Yay. Yay. <laughs> well, Brandon and Heidi, thank you so much for chatting with Mary po about Mary Poppins with us. We just want to say thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's been with so Mary great to both of you. Like, we love you guys. And honestly, we're so thankful that you asked us to be part of this. So, yeah, we had lots of fun. Yeah, you guys are the best. And we, yeah, just like are so lucky to know you and grow this kind of friendship on this whole crazy YouTube thing. So, thank you for having us. You're it was so, the you best. guys are so sweet. This it's is true. Awesome. Hey, it's, it's the truth. These are the best. <laughs> We're so lucky to know. Yay. Well, and thank you to everyone in the chat for watching. And we hope that you have your notebooks ready and you're ready to go watch Monsters University um, because we're back next week to chat about that movie with Magic in Michigan. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you.